Wow, guys, today I have a giant box of Jurassic Park toys. This is a 50 gallon plastic box, and as you can see, I've got a lot of the Jurassic Park toys. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. And also, guys, I got full reviews and battles of all of these at the end of this video. If you want to uh, check out, uh, it's actually in the Jurassic World uh, playlist. They are awesome. Okay, guys, first we're going to start off with the Bull T-Rex. This guy is totally awesome. Uh, most of these I bought on eBay, and they are not cheap, so I apologize for that. I mean, it's, it's going to be really hard for you guys to get a hold of them if you do like them. But uh, I did uh, buy them to review them for you guys so you guys could check out what they're like. This guy's got a big uh, slit on his stomach. And then, like I said, uh, full reviews of all of these at the end of this video in Jurassic World playlist. Okay, next one is the Stomp uh, Red T-Rex. This guy has a very flexible neck. So if you want to have him in like some cool battles and stuff, this is JP09. Uh, so here is a good look at him. And then next I got two Thrasher T-Rexes. If you want a realistic dinosaur, I mean this is about as close as you are going to get. He is totally awesome. And he's called Thrasher because you grab him on the tail here and you swing him back and forth. And uh, he's in it, he's like in a uh, cage almost that like fits to him uh, with like bar with like uh, chains and stuff. So when you thrash him, he busts out of there. Uh, this guy's got very realistic teeth and mouth. He is rubber, so he does feel very realistic also. Actually, it would be sheet because all of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World toys are female. And then, in my opinion, you've got the best Jurassic Park toy, but this is unfortunately also the most expensive. This is the animatronic uh, Spinosaurus with working electronics, which is very hard to find because their electronics go bad very easily. So this one, uh, if you push back here on the tail, he roars and moves his mouth, or his head opens his mouth. And then you can also push him on the side here. It makes a different noise. Actually, I keep saying him, but it's her. And then you could also push her on the neck here. So this is the biggest spinosaur you're gonna find. Spinosaurus you're gonna find all covered in rubber. Very realistic looking. It looks like it's got glass eyes and everything. And it is just totally awesome. I also have a full review on that at the end of the video. And then I got a, a little miniature Spinosaurus Max uh, mask. I'm not. It's it's supposed to be a puppet puppet, but it's so hard plastic and it's so small that uh, even a child would have a hard time using that. Then I got this big T-Rex puppet here. As you can see, it's got a uh, little spindly arms and it is uh, Jurassic Park, there is the logo. Then I got a Jurassic Park Triceratops with action feature. If you pull back on its leg, it raises its head here. I did not review all of these Jurassic Park ones. I plan on doing them in the future. I got a lot of the bigger ones that I did review. Here you got like a really freaky looking saber tooth tiger. Uh, I guess the action feature is if you close the mouth, his tongue actually like retracts. So that, you know, I don't I don't see any way to actually activate the action peak. I'm sure this is JP12 it looks like. And I got one of the Jurassic Park uh, hatching eggs. So basically if you open it up, you got a little uh, Jurassic Park. Park hatchling here, probably uh, T Rex. You got a really ugly looking uh, Jurassic Park Velociraptor with sound. So, this is like a big puppet with 
spindly, wobbly rubber arms. Kind of weird looking, but it does have a really nice big teeth. And here is the JP logo on it. And then you got the head ramming, Pachycephalosaurus. So basically you push his head down here. It's got this button here, you push it, and his head rams out. So that's really cool here. This guy is JP23. Then you got a Spinosaurus, which is from uh, the Jurassic Park Hasbro game. You have a Utahraptor, which is like a huge raptor. It has uh it has the retractable claws, but these claws are like really big and they actually move up and down so you can put them into different positions. It's got really long arms, really big claws, very detailed mouth and tongue. So this guy is really cool looking too. This guy's JP22. Then you've got two Jurassic Park Velociraptors with action features if you push their legs together. It looks almost like they're at a rock concert or something. So this would be JP06. And then guys, I got a bunch of uh, miscellaneous Jurassic Park dinosaurs. You've got this guy here. This is JP19. You've got this guy here. I think this guy is the Bronx. He's JP63. He also has an action feature there. You can see his head will move if you move his legs. So this guy's really cool looking. Then you've got the uh, JP Oats 2. This looks like a Dilophosaurus here. You got one of the uh, the Chaos Dinos. This is the Amar. Gosfinus, I believe. This is JP 50A. And then, uh, guys, I have a box of the smaller ones here. Let's take a look at some of these. Sorry, I meant bag. This is the young T Rex, the JP 42. It looks like his mouth does open and close, but no action feature. This is one of the n other uh, Chaos uh, Dinos. It looks like a Chaos Velociraptor. This is JP, either that's a 1 or an 81, I'm not really sure. And then here is a Spinosaurus with no action features. And then it looks like a Stega, uh, Stegosaurus. So some of these are small. And then you've got this uh, Jurassic Park action feature one, which... If you tilt the dino forward, the little guy pops out right into the dino's mouth. So it looks like the dinosaur is eating him. So this one's a really cool one. It says engine on the side. And then you got a bunch of the uh, smaller ones. This is like a uh, pterodactyl probably. This is a JP. I'm not really sure what that guy is. It looks like a small... T-Rex here, JP28 maybe, and then you've got this little guy here, it says, actually that's a Jurassic World one, I don't know how that guy in here, they got a little uh, Jurassic Park matchbox vehicle here, got another, uh, this looks almost like a Velociraptor maybe, it says JP3 on the side there. I've got several of their trading cards. God, this is another Jurassic Park one. Looks like a T-Rex. This one's probably another Velociraptor. A Triceratops. Another Stegosaurus, JP24. And then another JP42. This is a little tiny one. And then I got some of their gear here, and I also have one of their uh, Jurassic Park watches. We've got a couple of their bigger vehicles in uh, not very great shape. This one here, I do got the propellers, but they keep falling off, so I'm going to have to find out where those at. at. They got like an opening cockpit you could fit in a character. It's carrying some type of an action feature on the bottom there. 
Uh, this rope is unfortunately broken, so that one's not in that great shape. Then I also have this Jurassic Park uh, vehicle, which is also not in too great shape. Some of these I got in a uh, set, buying a whole bunch of them at one time. Then I've got three of the Jurassic Park figures here. This is the hunter that actually goes after the Velociraptors, the one that says Clever Girl. And then besides the uh, Spinosaurus, this is the most expensive one I bought. And also, besides the Spinosaurus, the coolest, this is the electronic command compound with the big gate. It's got a uh, talking computer with over a hundred phrases. and. It, it's really awesome. You can also check that one out at the end of the video. And that guy is, guys, is my Jurassic Park toys. Eventually, I want to end up uh, buying all of them and reviewing them for you guys. But it is a slow process because they are hard to find and they're pretty expensive. Wow, guys, that was a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click subscribe and the thumbs up button down below the video. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. If you went to the video end, there's an awesome end card. There's a lot more fun videos. And I will see you soon. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos and if you want to see even more go ahead and click the subscribe button.